Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. Today what I want to show you is I'm actually pulling a nuke out and I'm going to go through the process. This is going to the customer. And then what I'm going to show you is, is another good use for our Barnyard Bee two-frame mini nukes. And we move things around a lot when, when, we, when we sell bees. And, and I'll show you a little bit about how how we do that sometime. Uh, what we got right here, here is a, a five frame nuke that we're gonna give to the customers. Um, there's a lot of bees down inside. They're not covered real heavy on the very top, but the customer will get all these frames here and the customer will take it home. They will let it uh, sit for an hour. They will open the hive up and then they will let the hive acclimate to the area for a couple days before they do anything else with it. We highly recommend that people do that. If you buy a nuke, I don't care where you buy it, take it, take it home before you, because here's the reason behind this is the hive is traumatized anyway from being removed from here uh, we put these in, in a brand new box. We leave the original box here. We put these in a brand new box. It is shipped to our store. The customer takes it and ships it to their house. And they don't, you really do not need to, to move those bees again, taking the frames out. It's just, it's not necessary. And what we recommend is to take your bees, set them up, let them sit there for an hour before you even open the front to let them out. Because let them settle down for an hour, open the front of it up, let them acclimate to the area for at least a couple of days. We even recommend up to a week because it just gives the bees a chance to find their forage, to find their nectar, their pollen, that it lets them know the area, and then move that box away. Set your box that you want to do your... Uh, your big frame, whether it's an eight or a 10 or whatever you got, and then move them. It makes a world of difference, I'm telling you, uh, less trauma for those bees, and you will end up with a stronger, healthier hive when you do that. And uh, a lot of people are surprised when I tell them that, and say, yeah, it's you won't believe the difference, then just taking them home and moving them again. Now, these bees here, they're just now starting to come to the top a little bit. But there's a lot of bees in this hive. They're not overcrowded on the top, but there's still a lot of bees in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to demonstrate and show you how we do this. I'm going to move the frames out. I got, I'm doing this one-handed, so I'll, I'll stop the camera and resume and show you what we're going to do. And then how I get this box ready to grow again. Because it's not done for the year. We don't, we don't run it like that here at Barnyard Bees we will we will keep growing our bees we we're not like we we don't do it like we have 500 highs and then we sell those 500 highs and we're done we don't do it that way we keep growing these bees time and time and time again throughout the year some of these nukes we have already sold three times and the customer gets five frames of bees but we also will restock it with seed from another hive that we're not selling and I'll demonstrate how to do that. So let me get on with the with the transfer. Okay, I'm pulling them out, and here's a queen. Nice looking, big queen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a mark on it. The customer wanted this one marked, so I'm gonna put it on pause and mark it. Okay, it was that fast. We got her marked, and what I'll do, I'll try to do this while this frame is leaning up against here. What I do, here's how I put the queen back on the, I let her reach reach out. She'll, re, she'll reach out on the frame, and you can even hold your hand under it a little bit like that just in case she falls, and let her walk right back up on the frame, just like I did right there, and then I will pick that frame up and move it into the 
customers nook okay there's the here's the new nook right here that's the brand new box we give the customer a brand new box and then i just simply transfer these frames over one by one okay so we got our bees in there this this is is a good size nook box with bees and it has just the right amount uh i gave a customer a nuke he picked it up uh four days ago he come back in the store today uh yesterday and telling me it's overpacked it's 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 about to swarm because there's so many bees in it that's how fast these nukes when you got three frames in there with solid capped brood but anyway just like that customer said he was in a hurry and a rush and he was panicking because they exploded that fast and that was just a nuke just like this so that's what they need that's what the customers need there's plenty of bees in this for the customer plenty Okay, what we got here is a handful of bees in the hive. There's not a whole lot, but there's probably, if you would add them up, there might be a quarter pound of bees right there, foragers and such. Now those bees, this is how we generate our nukes from one to the next. So there's different ways from here to do this. I can go into another hive and pull out a starter frame that I call it, and they'll have cat brood, eggs, of all stages, a little bit of honey, preferable, preferably with a little bit of pollen. That's the ideal frame. Now it depends from there what you want to do with it. If you want to do a walk away split and let them make their own queen, you need to assure that you have uh, all the way down to eggs and in between eggs, larva, and pupa. That way you know you'll have um, enough in there for them to make a, a good queen cell. Now that's the slowest way when you do a queen cell or if you let them make their own queen you're looking at 30 days before that queen's gonna go be back and laying so you're 30 days out so here's the thing and here's here's what i recommend uh especially for the new beekeeper go ahead and buy you a queen that's 30 days that you'll never get back and 30 days of that queen laying will be tremendous amount getting this hive built back up so so what i do from here this video will probably be drawn out a little bit in time but i have a lot, lot to talk about about doing this so so what i do i got some over here already prepped and ready to move now remember there's a handful of bees in here what i'm going to do i'm going to move two frames of bees from my mini mate nuke and drop them right in here with these bees now some people say well you'll lose a queen i can assure you when you have two pounds of bees protecting the queen versus a half a pound or a quarter pound of bees here there's absolutely no question i've done this time and time again they they will not kill that queen i can assure you that because i've done this time and time again when the number is greater with with your queen than what you have in here you're absolutely fine because they will protect that queen and i'll also blow a little bit of smoke in there to cover up her pheromones now if if you're a little bit cautious about doing this immediately wait eight hours and then do that but but you still would need probably still to move one of the frames over that doesn't have the queen at least do that if you're a little bit concerned but i've done this time and time again i've never had any issues with it not ever so over here is our, our two frame here. I'm going to try to do this one handed so you can see. I've already pulled this out and was looking down in it. And uh, I seen something move right there. And I thought, what in the world is that? But there's a caterpillar that got down inside there. And those bees are rolling it. I don't know how it got in there. But anyway, let's see. Do this old-fashioned one-handed way so the queen was on this frame here so I tried to find her beforehand 
so I could, uh, but good chance too that she may have moved. This frame here has top layer of honey and right in the center. You can see uh, uncapped brood young larva eggs. So we've got a good combination right here. And let's see, let me see if I can flip this over one handed and find that queen that was on here. Okay, she might have possibly stepped over to the next frame because I'm not seeing her. Or she may be playing one of those hide and go seek queens. And if you ever come across one of those, what they'll do, they'll get in the corner like right here and when you flip that over and they see your face or your hands they will flip back around the other side that fast and they will do that game over and over and over and a lot of times uh you won't find the queen that way because they uh some of them are pretty skittish some of them aren't some of them don't care and i've had a, a few lay eggs right in front of you they could care less if you're in them or not and then some are so skittish, they will stay hid the whole time. And a lot of them will even climb off the frames onto the side of the box. And then you're emptying out every frame looking for that queen. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and remember I'm mixing these bees here. So there's our frame. And let's see if she stepped over to this one here. Maybe she did. Right there she is. Right there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is that queen's on this side. Hear that roar. Sometimes when you put a queen in a box, the bees will also roar. It's not always when they're just queenless. So So basically, we got a mated queen in there. And what I'll do, I'll go ahead and blow some smoke in there just to mask the pheromones up just a little bit. And we'll watch it here a second and see how fussy they are with each other. We'll see if they're tangling up on the bottom fighting. And it's usually not that big of an issue. It really isn't. So, let me find my frames here and I'll be right back. Okay, now, what I'm going to do, okay, you got two full frames right there. And I'm going to put a, just a starter strip right in the middle of those two frames. That's going to be the only thing that's going to be separating that. And then, I like to come by with a, a full sheet of foundation right here. And that'll be right next to that drawn out frame with bees. And then over here on this side, I'll put another starter strip. Just like that. Now, okay, now compared to using a queen cell, using a virgin queen, or even using a mated queen in a handful of bees, this hive, which is already established from the mini nuke, will take off like crazy. That queen will find room she's never had before. They'll start drawing it out. And I want, I want you to see the language of this hive right here. If any of you seen my previous videos, what are these bees doing right here? And why are they doing it? See them fanning? A lot of bees fanning. There's no bees fighting, no aggression. If these bees were fighting, they would be on top of the frames, tangled up with each other, and I don't, I don't see a one. 
And now we got foragers that this old hive had. Not a lot, and no, not enough to affect the number of bees in that nuke. Like I said, that nuke is plenty strong. A lot of bees in there. So, that one's ready. So what I'll do is I'll show you now what we're going to do with the with the two framer. Okay, we got this nuke done. Now remember, this is the one that we that we pulled out to sell to the customer, and we pulled out the two frames from the mini mate nuke, and then what that'll leave over here is a lot of unhappy bees that want to know what happened to their frames. And there's quite a few of them. So, so what I'll do, I'll go into another hive, which I've already done that, pre the video, so I'd have it ready. So, so here's what we got. Here's a frame right here that I pulled out of this nuke, right here. This, this was a younger nuke that wasn't ready to sell, but was old enough to have one frame taken from it. So I, I harvest one frame from it. It's got young eggs, cat brood, larvae of all stages, uh, a good band of honey on it to, to sustain them until they can get a little bit more in there. Put a little puff of smoke in there. And now what I'll do is put a frame with let me grab my frame with a starter strip on it. Here's the frame. Now, just a little reminder. My previous video, or well, it was actually last year's video. Listen to the noise. Hear the roar. This hive is queenless. Now, there was a queen or there is a queen in that nuke that I took that frame from. It, it's probably still got a little bit of pheromone on it. So they're fanning it, but the noise is more, more than likely coming from the foragers that was in there making that noise. So it's uh, pretty loud. So now what I can do now, since this is the smaller of the hive, I didn't sacrifice a potential nuke in about two weeks because it'll it'll continue growing immediately this is a smaller hive that only has one frame yes i can if i don't get a queen in there let them make their own queen plenty of bees in there to make a good quality queen cell for sure and and let it grow without harming my production so the two frames went into the the hive that I sold into the nuke. And this is the nuke that I robbed it from. And by it growing slow and producing a queen in a month, I'll be finding Danny with that. Because I got these sitting all over the place. I pull queens from them all the time. So no big deal if, if I have to do that, if I don't find a queen cell or whatever. I mean 90% of the time or more, I, I have plenty of queen cells to put in there or virgin queens from her grass. So, more than likely it will but I'm just saying in that scenario if you don't you can get uh, have that option of let them make their own queen now I know this video has been drawn out but and I hope everybody listens to it from start to finish because I just had a lot to say in it and it just took this long to explain it so so that's about it for this video we'll walk around the side here and see how many uh, bees are trying to come back in there quite a few or a few but folks don't forget queens we have and we will ship these queens in the country a lot of people ask do you ship here do you ship there alaska and hawaii is the only place we don't ship them and i am sorry that we don't ship them there uh I, it's offended a few people and i'm sorry and i apologize for that but the, the Postal Service makes it impossible to get them there on time without them dying. And at least 50% of everything that we have ever tried to send there 
dies because they drag their feet to get it there. And, and I do apologize for that, but it just can't be helped and we just can't risk it. And we lose a lot of money doing that way because any time that the postal service fails, the customer comes back on us to be responsible. And really, and, and it's a shame because the postal service sometimes takes our bees and they hold them, which is should be against the law. So any of you know anybody in the postal service, ask them questions like that and ask them why they do that because that should be illegal and they should not be able to set your bees out on a dock for two days because they're scared of them. They're supposed to be trained in shipping livestock and bees. That's their job. So I, I hope that the word gets out and because to doing that to bees is very immoral because these bees are in danger and they're going to let them set out and let them die and then ship them back and say they was that way when they got them. I know how they do it because we ship the bees out immediately. We never wait. We get them out the day we box them, the day the, the queen goes in there, it's out immediately that same day that we pull it. So we do our part, but the postal service a lot of times don't, and I do apologize that, and I wish we had other options, uh, but we don't. And, and as it gets hotter, it's, it gets a little bit harder, not so much with queens, but with packages. The, these last orders of packages uh, can, can be a really, really hassle because we get calls saying, hey, our package arrived, I was dead, and, or too many bees. But uh, when the postal service does what they're supposed to, it gets there with no problem at all, no matter where it goes, if they would do their part and ship them right. So just a little rant right there. I had to get off my show, but I, also I wanted to say that so people would know and understand our dilemma and why we have problems sometimes with uh, the bees getting to the customer. It's not us because we get them out immediately. It's the postal service. So that's about it i just want to talk about that if you need queens we got them we'll have them all the way up until fall we'll ship anywhere except alaska and hawaii don't forget folks click on the little bell please share these videos like and subscribe and thanks for watching barnyard beast